Okay. Yeah, that's right. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. My entire okay. existence. We're done here. What? What did you say? So that's the whole truth, huh? I see. But there's still one thing I don't understand. Come on, Hina. Why did you try to cover up what happened? If the truth had come to life, you would have died along with the rest of what us. What are you thinking? And yet you. Why did you do that? Don't be mean! Yeah, we almost died there! What is this? Because... That's exactly what I wanted. What? <laughs> I mean, the reason Sakura died... It's because all of you pushed her into a corner. You... You all killed her. So that's why... You should have been the one to die! I couldn't let her be the only one that had to die. What? what, what, what? You didn't know me. You were gonna t take us all with you? We have to atone for our sins. Because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We all have to pay for our crimes. What? For, for serious? That's... What is this? You still don't understand? Then let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair Sakura was carrying with her when she died? Look at this. Such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. That's... I found it on the ground, in front of the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. Suicide note? Then get back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran after her and... Um... Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. Uh... I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault, after all. But now you're suffering because of me. No forgiveness! You tried to protect me, but because of me... I can't forgive this! My closest friend got hurt. Sakura. I... Because of me, my friends are all gonna kill each other. This is all my responsibility. <laughs> Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault. Which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked me to meet with them. <laughs> You asked to meet with those three? You can't. Don't you see how dangerous that is? Mm. Don't worry. I just want to talk to them. But... Talk about what? Um... Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you once, it, even you... Tina. Please, don't think of things like that. They're not my enemy. They're friends. She clearly believed. She completely believed in all of us. If you just talked to her, you would have understand. She was a friend to all of us. And yet... Why? And yet... <laughs> you trampled all over her feelings. And then you did the unthinkable. Uh, um... No, no, that was just a misunderstanding. What are you saying? Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding. She believed in you, and you would even listen to what she had to say. Without asking a single question, you tried to kill her. I won't forgive you. Do you have any idea how desperate she was, seeing you act like that? That's what her suicide note means. So instead of wanting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Goodbye. That's how far you pushed her. Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. You came. Wait right here. I'll help you out. Hina. Huh? I... I'm so glad I got to meet you. Wh what's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I have a favor to ask. Huh? A favor? Some protein. 
Could I ask you to? Y yeah, you got it. Just hang on. I'll be right back. That was the last conversation I had with her. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized. I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf. Sakura. So I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. But by the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura! Please! Let me in! Please open the door! Why? Why? Why did she have to die? She had weaknesses, just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That weakness is... that's normal. And yet... Why? You all blamed her. I tried to protect her, and I suffered for it. And that just adds to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. Hina. We killed her. All of us. We pushed her into a corner, and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> And that's why you tried to lead us astray. You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during a class trial. <laughs> Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted to free her of her regrets. But even that could have got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. I can never face her after this. Hey! Hey! I'm sorry you're about to interrupt. I'm sorry to interrupt while you're about to deliver the final tear jerker, but hey! it's just taking so long, 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 long. I'm about to fall asleep over here. I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What, is this? what did you say? Hmm. Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion of what her suicide note meant? What are you saying? Of course I know what she was thinking. Cause her and me. Well, what I'm really trying to say yes, is, indeed. don't you think that entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really like this? What the heck? What is a? Of course. Isn't it obvious? Yep. A suicide note. Sakura's suicide note. Well, what? But he already. Bad. Oh, I wrote that one up. It was all me, baby. <clears throat> This is the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. Huh? What? Then... Huh? You... Lied to me? Unbelievable. Oh, don't say lie. It makes it sound so dirty. I just thought I livened things up a bit. Well now, well now, well now, well now. I can help it if you totally took my little scribbles at face value. <laughs> I didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. You filthy little... Yeah, I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? The case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Yeah. Dang, dude. Even if the will had to be factored in, it still would have been between you guys. <laughs> so what's all the problem? This is all part of the production process. Okay, and scene. Cut! And? So then what did she write in her real so suicide note? What are you gonna do? I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read it using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. Hey! Hey! But you know, have you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Who came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place? Let's hold on! And isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? You can never hear the rest of their story. The truth lost in is lost in darkness. Gives me the willies. Enough already. Could you get on with it, please? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, geez. Talk about a buzzkill. All right, here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> My good friend Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. It was our first night in this strange school that the mastermind came to see, see me. See, 
the Mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. You might not see as the importance of the dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 years. I couldn't years. let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan changed. The Mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reached another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying desperately to stay alive, I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the Mastermind. And more than anything... I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. That's how I feel. So that's why Sakura... I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to uh, all of you hating her for it. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic? Or just moronic? Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with me, just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get the situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I d decide to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I told him, and commit murder. But I've decided, the one I'm going to kill is... myself. If the Mastermind the Dance demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe, and above all else, none of you will have to kill anymore. When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my life. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, Please know that you are all my most treasured friends. I never had people like you in my life. Huh? Then Sakura didn't feel cornered? She didn't die hating no us? Way. She wanted to stop us from fighting? To protect us? Correct. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She tells death to herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However... It was only her limitless strength that made it possible. <laughs> Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell you any of this because I knew you would try to stop me. 
I'm really, truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plans, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way that I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. I'm so sorry to ask to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please, talk to Byaka Toko or Hiro and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan when I'm alive, but I want you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words. Hopefully then they'll see- I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. But, but... Th this is... I... I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still... What are you gonna do? But in the end, all her meddling was like... She died so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other, but you almost ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly bit the big Too one. Bad. She deserves all the blame. Everyone go blame her. Go ahead, she deserves it. <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided. What do you need, next victim? Nobody here blames anyone. Huh? First of all, you're wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Say what? Because she made us remember, we're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. You know? Damn straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. Well? I don't blame her. I can't blame her. And nobody can blame Hina either. <laughs> Whether or not there was a spy never really mattered, because the one we need to destroy is you, nobody else. What? What do you want? What the heck? This is not how it's supposed to go. But anyway, are you sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Hey. Your enemy is each other. He's absolutely right about that. Ah, uh, lovely Biakia. You understand, don't you? This is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of this game. Hm. Which is why I am bowing out of the game. Naturally. Sakura and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear the others have cast aside their fear for the game. Don't make me repeat myself. There is no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is why I will no longer be participating in it. What? what? What's going on here? Hmm. Now I have only one thing to look forward to. It's all clear. And that is to heap the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. But Byakuya, does this mean... <laughs> Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Wherever Master goes, I go. And if the mastermind turns out a beat guy, maybe I could catch on fire. Uh, everyone. Hey. Well, now can you say that Sakura's death had no meaning? Yeah. Uh, how boring. But nothing yet could come out of it. <laughs> I'm still gonna be the one having the fun time. What the heck? The fun time? Hmm. Anyway, let's forget about that good-for-nothing backstabber and get back you on track. Want me to punish you guys? It's the moment you all been waiting for. Punishment time! <laughs> what? Wait, the Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead. You're not going to... But... It, is it me? Wrong! Oh, heavens no. Just because the Blacken is dead doesn't mean I can sub in whatever old student I want. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I'm very particular about the bear times at one rule. Listen up! But I've spent so much time preparing my special punishment, it'd be a shame to let it go away. So for my special punishment, I prepared a special guest. A special Let's guest? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time!
You. Oh, no! You suck, man! You turned into a mangled hunk of junk! Ooh, that really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. After all they say for post workout grub, chicken's where it's at. And I'm about to all. I'm about all the grilled goodness. <laughs> Fried? Broiled? Give me broiled. That, that was boiled. Is that a typo? Give me a break. The smell, the color, the smell, the succulents. Grilled is where it's at. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul, and my disbelief gave way to raw anger. This anger turned into fury, black and muddy, and boiling over. It bubbled up through my body quickly, overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you! That was my friend! How dare you kill him! What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with the laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with the basketball? Shut the hell up. He wasn't just a laptop, he was my friend. And you killed him. Hmm. Is that what you call animism? Where the soul dwells within all things? Even like laptops? Hmm. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got in my way. And I was trying to find things all out. Sneaky, sneaky. Just as I thought. So you finally noticed him. Actually. Finally? No, no, no. I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew Shahira was doing something with the laptop. And I knew you were using it to analyze data. Yeah! So I knew exactly how it's gonna play out from the start. What? What are you thinking? You knew, and you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge. Yep. Well, I mean, the day in the laptop, I was. I guess you could call it a gift from me to you. Yeah. Or maybe more like a reward in order for you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um. So, of course, I don't care if you got the access to that. <laughs> but sneaking a network is just too personal. So I have to do a little, you know, reformatting. I want to be able to help. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life. And for that, he was killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the punishment time has made me feel a billion times better. Experiencing mingling of stuff is so soothing. It makes me remember that every low can even get lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everyone who's died so far, their deaths of each every cry of one of our friends. They all make us stronger. I swear to god, someday you will pay for this. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Holy moly, you're super mad, like just unreasonably be on set. Well? Okay, time to bring things to a close. Oh, before uh -huh. that... I need to read the postscript. What? Postscript? Yep. Yeah, there was still a little bit more left in Sakura's note. Huh? huh? <laughs> Ooh, do I have your attention? Okay then, here we go! Prepare your ears for the dulcet tones of yours truly. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like you to tell the others. Hopefully it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What a clue. Hina. I've spoken with the mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here, and so I've learned one thing, which is, the mastermind has done something to us. I think that, I think what they've done is... Yeah Oopsie daisy, that was a close one. Another word of me, we... 
another word and we would have been deep deep in spoiler Too territory. Bad. Okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so the club is dismissed for today. What? You catch yourself at the most important bit. It makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad, you don't even freaking know, huh? That's the whole point, stupid. It's time to get back to all your hardening for your resolve. Fine, but at least Sakura's note. Like I ever let any of you grease balls have it. But... <laughs> Sucks for you, loser. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's this? What? What is the note? There's one last line in the note. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not just gonna lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard, no matter what. And that's seriously it. Mm hmm? Huh? Wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die. She'll fight you. Mm. Well, whatever. Who cares about some dead muscle head has to say? Well. Okay, I'm out of here. Mm. You guys should go. You guys should try and get some rest, you know? Maybe take some time to re reconsider how you approach the school life of yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> think about that. Think long, think hard. Those were his parting words to us before disappearing. But what was all that about? Sakura's final message, her last clue to help us solve the mystery of this school. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. You... Who? Hey. The mastermind did something to our bodies? What are they saying the mastermind did? What did the mastermind do to us? I mean, did the mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? And if we try to leave the school, the sensor goes off? And the bomb explodes? I've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's totally not unheard of. No, I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo! So, the class trial is over and Monikum is gone. But... So, now what do we do? Yes. What else is there other than to head back up? Uh, um... Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get out of here. But... I, um... Hina must still feel responsible. Hmm. Hmm. Dial that ego a bit, girl. That kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would never have lost that kind of challenge. <sighs> what are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones who figured everything Stop out. Talking. Shut up. Seriously, I'm sorry. <laughs> How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing for, to me more than once. Sorry. Okay, I see what you mean. Then... I'll try. Huh? Th that totally wasn't normal, right? Did she just capture his flag? No, 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 no! I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb, disturb the romance between me and Master. Huh? Oh, what are you talking about? That's absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever go for a sleaze ball like him? What did you say? Sleaze ball? What the heck? That's right. I called you a sleaze ball because you are sleaze ball. Apparently, you still have a death wish. Oh, oh more biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no! Hey, stop fighting with Master. You're making me jealous. I want the abuse give and take me. I guess it's not so easy to call out for everyone to act all friends. Oh, that's just how it is for now. And so Sakura's class trial has come to an end, and we return to the world of Hope's Peak Academy. But the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on. 
We all went back to our rooms, and before long, night snuck up on us. the doors to the dining hall. Okay then. Sweet dream. Nighttime descended and pulled me down along with it, down into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I'd fallen in such a deep sleep. But the night still wasn't over for me. A voice. I could hear a voice. Up. Wake up. Huh? The voice dragged me from my deep slumber into a hazy half-consciousness. My eyelids were like lead. Kyoko? Yes, it's me. Huh? Kyoko? I said yes. So Kyoko's here. Wait, what?! In a flash, I was wide awake. Well, what are you doing it's true. here? I'm here to wake you up. Oh, I see. Wait, but my door. It was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Hey. Anyway, you don't have to overreact like that every time you're surprised. Well, what time is right. it? Three o'clock in the morning, of course. It's 3 a.m.? Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? It's so late, what happened? Makoto. I have a favor I need to ask. What's your favor? So... Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not just gonna lay down and die, I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her next lips next to my ear and whispered. The data center on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Without another word, she was gone. What the? Her words reverberated through my half dazed head. The data center? But I thought it was locked. I made my way to the after school hours and headed to the data center on the fourth floor. Eventually, I went out the day, sir, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's where she said she'd meet me. Is she maybe inside already? I put my hand to the door, and with a certain amount of force, it didn't open. I tried again, but it must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The day is sitting on the fourth floor. What's this? Oh ho! What are you doing up, mister? Gah! Yeah, Freaking an electric missing. Incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... Yeah. You're telling me you didn't try... You didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... Hey. I can see that you don't... Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself. Unbelievable. It looked like you might break in a second, so I thought I'd give you a friendly mo reminder. Are you gonna try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? N no, nothing like that. Yeah. It's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know. Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Just a second. Why are you out here making a wreck? Kyoko. <coughs> you too? <laughs> you guys? Whatever, the two of you just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class it's trial. True. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get out of here. Shoo shoo. So we left and went back to our rooms. And then. Goodbye. Hold on. Listen, what was all about that just now? She woke me up and made me go to the dentist center, which happened to be locked? 
and then she shows up and we leave without checking a single thing? What was the point of all that? <sighs> Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation, but just like always. Goodbye. Walden, good night. Sh sure. And then that was over. But as I turn to leave. Mukuro Ikusaba. <laughs> Kyoko was right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mikuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for him. Yeah. <laughs>